I remember for my 10th birthday, this boy named Anthony bought me real gold earrings. Oh. And uh. asked me to be his, my, asked me to be his girlfriend. And I was like so fucking excited. And I wore the gold earrings. And then I lost them that same day. I lost one. Just at my birthday party running around. And literally, this is so funny. I never brought up the earrings or talked to him again because I couldn't face the fact that I had lost it. And he just out there must think he bought me gold earrings and then I dumped him. Ugh. Because we were so poor that I couldn't face the fact that I'd lost something expensive that someone had bought me. Oh, and I was no. like, I'll just never speak to him again so I don't have to tell him. That's so sad. Isn't that sad? So, Anthony, if you're out there, I love those earrings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was actually a nice gift. I want, it was actually such a sweet gift. That was two weeks before 9-11. <laughs> And it was really like, I think <laughs> that one earring hitting the dirt on the ground was real butterfly effect for the country <laughs> and the country. And I don't think that it was good. And I should have really just told you I lost them. Uh, yeah. I'd, or, uh, gifts gifts like that in, in relationships can get so, uh, like, so weird. I just never talked to him again. He probably <laughs> wondered for years. And I remember... Um, I don't know what it was, but I do remember him mentioning his mom asking if I'd worn them. And me being like, oh, I just haven't worn them yet. And I kind of just like avoided him. And his poor mom was probably like, did she like them? Oh, my God. <laughs> Anthony and your mom, look at me. <laughs> Can you guys find Anthony? I don't remember his last name, but he was like Italian from Florida and he had dimples. And um, he got me gold earrings two weeks before 9-11. So if you guys can put that out. And Anthony, I think his last name started with an A or something. But if you guys find him, let him know. I'm so sorry. What's your rule of thumb, uh, of, like, receiving gifts after a breakup? Like, are you are you giving them back? Or are you like, this is fucking mine now? Or? It depends on what the breakup was. Okay. If you cheated on me, I'm keeping everything and plus more. And I'm also taking some of your <laughs> shit. <laughs> in, I take interest for cheating. Sorry. Okay. You, you, like you can't buy time. They say that, right? So I could take all your shit and still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> what do you want me to say? You wasted my time. Oh, my I God. I take your shit. I know. I, I, I took an ex's watch because of that. Yeah, I thought I <laughs> good on you. I thought I thought, I, I, I had like it's suspicion. time for me to leave. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me to respect myself as a man. <laughs> you took the watch and you're out, dude. Oh my god, yeah. dude, fuck it. And uh, and you know what? I don't think really gifts should be given back. Anyways, a gift's a gift. No, Even yeah, if you break I, up, I would a agree. Gift's a gift. I would agree. This happened to me though. I had um, a friendship breakup. And that was really awkward because I, because you know, when you're friends, you have each other's stuff. Yeah. And it was just weird because we just never talked again. But I still like had her like, you know, hoodie that I liked. So I'd wear it out sometimes. But then you'd be like, what if I see her and I'm wearing her hoodie and we're not <laughs> friends anymore? But it also would feel weird to like bring it over in a bag. Like we broke up. Like we both were okay with just not talking anymore. But then I was like, I still, if this hoodie's here, I should wear it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like like it like it transferred over, like it's your hoodie now. It's this, it's the breakup of the traveling hoodie. What do you want me to say? <laughs> it's our hoodie now, bitch. <laughs> Call me if you want it. I'm not gonna not give it back if you ask for it, but if we just don't talk, I'm not gonna be like, when should I bring your hoodie by? Like you were my lover. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's also kind of a girl thing to just like if you leave something at someone's house, it's just theirs. It is kind of a girl thing. Not certain girls, only children, they'll come collect their shit. Only children will come get their shit. But if you've ever had sisters, you just give your friends stuff. But them only children, they're a rare breed. Yeah. Yeah. They will come for their things. <laughs> Ain't no borrowing from an only child. <laughs> they go they keep track. They have a they have a inventory of their fucking items, dude. Me, I don't know who's what's in my closet. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck's shit's in my room. I know. I feel like I leave my shit everywhere. Like, I'm, I like I always, like, I, I get so surprised when someone's like, you left your shirt here. I'm like, oh, I bought a shirt that looked just like it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't get surprised. I go, yeah, that makes sense. I would leave that. I, I leave, sometimes I'll think of a piece that I really liked, and I go, where the fuck is that? 
Has that ever happened to you where you just see a picture of you with like a hoodie that you loved and you're like, where oh. is that thing? I have this fucking sick UPS jacket and I swear it got stolen. I lost it. If you're out there, Anthony, or my UPS jacket, <laughs> <laughs> please call me.